Hello everyone, this is Recap Revelations. Today we're entering the fascinating world of the film, Pixels. Warning, fresh spoilers ahead. Hold on tight, keep an eye out for the exciting adventure, and enjoy the ride. A young Sam Brenner, who was riding his bicycle at the time, went to the house of his best buddy Will Cooper during the summer of 1982 to inform him that the new arcade in town had opened its doors. Brenner dominates practically every game, and Cooper shines at the crane machine, which results in him winning a Chewbacca mask. They make the most of their time there, spending the entire day there. Due to the fact that Brenner is so talented when it comes to video games, Cooper takes a flyer for the Global Championships of Arcade Games and suggests that Brenner should bring his skills to the competition. This is the first time that Brenner and Cooper encountered Ludlow Lamansoff, a peculiar but clever young man who is head over heels in love with Lady Lisa, the lead character of the video game Dojo Quest. During the occasion, the head of events informs everyone that a time capsule that contains components of the culture that is currently in existence will be blasted into space. As soon as Brenner has completed all of the games, he will compete against the renowned player Eddie Plant and Donkey Kong. They begin a hard champions video game challenge and start moving on game levels one after another, but as a result of Eddie's response to the pattern of the game, Brenner is unable to concentrate, and he ends up coming in second place. Today, the adult version of Brenner is employed by a corporation that is in the business of installing software. President of the United States, Cooper, who was constantly mocked in the media. Most recently, he was criticized for failing to read correctly during a kindergarten lesson and for yelling at a young girl. A military base in Guam detects a signal that could be considered hazardous. Life creatures from another world that are based on the designs of the Galaga attack. Although the soldiers make an effort to fight back, they are easily defeated. The aliens manage to kidnap one of the soldiers, whose name is Affion Crockett. As part of his duty, Brenner travels to a residence. When Brenner meets a beautiful and sexy woman named Violet Van Patten and her cute son Maddie, he learns that his mother is going through the process of finalizing her divorce when Maddie tells him that his father ran with a Pilates instructor. Violet can be heard sobbing in the closet on the way to Brenner's place of employment. As he listens to her story, he offers her some consolation and the two of them drink wine together. He goes in for a kiss since he believes they are having a moment together, but she breaks his hopes before the anticipated moment. After that, he receives a phone call from Cooper, who informs him that he must report to the White House as soon as possible. With Violet in close proximity, Brenner makes his way to the White House. He is a bit astonished when he learns that she holds the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. Cooper leads Brenner into the Oval Office. In order to demonstrate to Brenner that the Galaga aliens are attacking Earth for no particular reason. Subsequently, Brenner takes his van back to his house, where he discovers Ludlow inside. As Ludlow takes Brenner back to his house, he informs him that the extraterrestrial beings are launching attacks with creatures that have designs like those of classic video games. Ludlow was sent a message that featured manipulated footage of celebrities from the 1980s, such as Ronald Reagan and Madonna, in order to provide an explanation of their plans. The message stated that because they interpreted the items contained in the time capsule as a declaration of war, they were using the video games as a challenge, giving the people of Earth three rounds to fight back, or else it would be game over for everyone. They also demonstrate that the soldier they captured was a trophy in some way. After presenting Cooper with the film, they come to the conclusion that the subsequent attack will take place in India. Indeed, the extraterrestrial beings launch an assault on the Taj Mahal, and in addition to that, they abduct a man from India as a prize. Violet demonstrates to Brenner and Ludlow that vigorous light beams are responsible for the destruction of the pixels. In order to train soldiers to fight back, Brenner and Ludlow are called in to show them how to play these games. When Cooper's assistant arrives at the bakery where he and his wife Jane are eating, she informs him that the next attack will take place in London. Each individual travels to London in order to meet with Corporal Hill. While the creatures from Centipede are attacking, the soldiers prepare themselves for an assault. Brenner instructs the soldiers to aim for the head and predict the pattern, but they appear to be unsuccessful in their efforts. 
After receiving clearance from Cooper, Brenner, and Ludlow take control of the situation and begin firing their weapons at the centipede in order to advance stages and win the stage finally. The final boss is hard and difficult to catch, destroying the city, fast moving, and climbing up the building. Then specifically likes to stay in shape for a few essential moments when Brenner gets shot to eliminate it for good after it makes its way down and comes dangerously close to swallowing a young boy. The aliens send a message to Earth using the Fantasy Island people to congratulate them on their triumph. They also give them the Duck Hunt dog as a prize, but they also remind them that they are currently in the lead, 2-1. to one. Together, Ludlow and Cooper have come to the conclusion that they require more assistance from someone else. In order to locate Eddie, a resentful and hardened criminal who was caught for increasing charges to phone bills, Brenner, Cooper, and Violet travel to prison with the aim of finding him. Brenner is still the target of his taunting, and as a reward, he continues to make demands that are self-serving in order to obtain his assistance. These demands include a private island for himself, the promise to never pay taxes again, and a meeting with Serena Williams and Martha Stewart. Cooper is willing to release him from prison, but only on the condition that he fulfills the no taxes deal, and they agree. It has come to light that the subsequent assault will take place in the city of New York. Upon arriving in New York, the crew learns that Pac-Man will be the next boss to be defeated. Violet introduces the men to four vehicles that are modeled after the ghosts in Pac-Man, with the fourth vehicle being piloted by Toru Iwatani, the developer of the game, as the team arrives at the downtown area of Manhattan, where Pac-Man is chomping through everything in sight just like in the video game, Iwatani makes an effort to appeal to the good side of Pac-Man by speaking to him in a manner similar to that of a father. Unfortunately, Pac-Man won't agree on that and this causes his hand to become pixelated and chomped. The three individuals who remained alive pursue Pac-Man. After Pac-Man, Eddie manages to hit the first Pac-Man opponent after a fast and hard chase. In round two, he consumes a power pellet, which grants him 10 seconds to consume the ghosts, which is the cars, and then he consumes Ludlow's car as he leaps out of the vehicle and starts running. Eddie manages to hit him in the last moment, saving Ludlow. Round three is on, and Eddie pumps the gas too hard and drives right into the sea. The pursuit of Brenner takes place next to a parking garage, where Pac-Man discovers one additional power pellet. While driving backward through a parking garage, Brenner counts down the number of seconds while he reverses the car up and is chased by Pac-Man. Brenner is given the opportunity to defeat Pac-Man at the last possible second and wins the game surprisingly, just when the power pellet has completely worn off. And as a reward, they are awarded Q-Bird. Brenner asks Violet to be his date, and she surprises him by showing up in a beautiful green dress while he is astonished by her look. The only reason Serena Williams showed up was because she was promised an island for her participation. Eddie delivers her. After Brenner has spent some time with Violet, the aliens send another message stating that the rules have been broken and that they are going to unleash a full-scale attack in a minute. Upon his discovery, Marty discovers that Eddie's sunglasses, which were recovered from the ocean, contain cheat codes. These codes let Eddie achieve victory over Pac-Man and also provide an explanation for how he triumphed over Brenner in the Donkey Kong competition. Violet watches terrified as Eddie fades away, and Maddie is abducted by the aliens up to the high sky. The heroes are informed by q that the aliens led a peaceful existence up to the point where they were endangered by the time capsule. The extraterrestrial beings deliver other video games, such as Defender and Frogger, to Washington, District of Columbia. It dawns on them that they must travel to the ship in order to put a stop to the invaders. After putting on their armor, Brenner, Violet, and q are joined by Cooper, while Ludlow remains behind to continue the battle. To Ludlow's delight, one of the extraterrestrial beings took the shape of Lady Lisa his ultimate life love. But on the other hand, she continues to fight him until he admits that all he wants is to love her. Her swords are dropped, and they kiss each other. When Eddie arrives at the fight, he expresses his regret for abandoning the team. Brenner, Violet, Cooper, and Hubert are transported up to the mothership, where Brenner is challenged by the mighty Donkey Kong in the final game, which is the most difficult obstacle he has ever faced. 
The heroes are attempting to reach Maddie and the other two captives when the ape begins to roll down with a vengeance and starts throwing barrels. As a result of Maddie's revelation to Brenner that Eddie cheated on him all those years ago in the competition, Brenner became aware that he is the genuine Donkey Kong champion. Brenner climbs floor after floor full of confidence he will succeed, then in the last moment takes the hammer and uses it to break the barrel before flinging it at Donkey Kong, which ultimately results in Donkey Kong's direct hit. All of the remaining video games will get frozen and will be carried back up to the ship as a result of this. Lady Lisa is included in this category, which is unfortunate for Ludlow. Members of the crew have been honored as heroes in front of the White House. Eddie expresses his regret to Brenner for breaking the rules and acknowledges that he is the best in the world. Ludlow cries for Lisa missing her terribly until Qbert suddenly transforms into her, shocked to see her again then he kisses her passionately. Cooper declares that he has reached an agreement with the extraterrestrial beings to establish a framework for peace and mentions the Arcaders crew as real American world heroes who saved the day. After some time, Brenner and Violet come to an understanding about their future romance and then kiss each other warmly. After that, Serena sends Eddie a text message inviting him to meet her in the bedroom to be accompanied by Martha Stewart, who has prepared sandwiches. With a sense of excitement, Eddie sneaks away. After the extraterrestrial beings have left Earth, Iwatani's hand is repaired as new. The end of the movie is in the year that followed, Ludlow tied the knot with Lisa, and the couple is now the proud parents of five Q-Birds who are so happy together. Pixels brings classic arcade games to life in a visually vibrant and entertaining adventure directed by Chris Columbus. Adam Sandler, Kevin James, and Peter Dinklage lead a comedic ensemble, injecting humor and heart into the storyline. The film's pixelated invasion of Earth by iconic video game villains creates a visually engaging spectacle appealing to fans of retro gaming. While not a cinematic masterpiece, Pixels succeeds in delivering a fun and nostalgic ride, blending humor, action, and a touch of heartfelt moments. The CGI work and action sequences are visually dynamic, making it a perfect choice for a lighthearted movie night filled with laughs and a trip down memory lane. If you enjoyed this recap from Recap Revelations, be sure to subscribe for a continuous stream of similar videos. Your support means the world to us, so don't forget to leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks a million for tuning in.